Hi, I'm Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. And what we're going to be talking about next is, now that you've made a decision about doing solar, how much solar do you need on your boat? Around here in the Pacific Northwest, we're pretty lucky. In the summer months, the formula or the conversion of figuring out how many amp hours you're going to get from a solar panel of so many watts is effectively a factor of four. So between, you know, I would say late May to middle of September, you're looking at, if you've got a 100 watt panel, you're going to be getting a daily output on average of about 25 amp hours a day. So if, let's go backwards, and if you say your daily amp hours consumption on your boat, and you've got a mid-sized boat, maybe a 35, 40 foot sailboat, or even a small power boat, 35 foot-ish, you're basically looking at about 100 amp hours a day of power consumption on that boat with refrigeration. So your solar array would need to offset everything would be about 400 watts. But that's one end of the spectrum. Some boaters don't come to us and say, I want solar to do everything for me. They say, I want to extend my time at anchor by another day or by another two days. And so that's where most of the solar arrays that we end up basically installing or selling to boaters is probably around 200 to 300 watts. And it's not enough to do everything on their boat, but it's enough to give them more time at anchor. And it's a good way to offset having to buy more batteries and it allows them to recharge their batteries and enjoy their time on the water in the summer. If you want to have or have more questions about solar panels, see our other videos, and thanks for watching.